Hello, Capricorn. Sorry about that. That was loud. <laughs> Welcome to your What's Up Buttercup reading. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate you. So this is a confirmation reading. You're here about something that you want to see if... Are you right about what you think is happening? And hopefully get a little more clarity into it. So let's see here. We're using the Tarot of a Moon Garden. Okay. What you get? Oh, the Emperor could be dealing with an Aries. This is uh, usually someone who's traditional. Well, maybe you are traditional. Uh, you know, the way things have always been done and they want to keep it that way. But they have a lot of strength. He's got the earth sitting on his lap. He looks pretty chill. He's very attentive, but keep things the way they are, the way they are, the way they are. And the seven of staffs, which for some reason I was doing another reading and I was reading it like the seven of swords. The seven of staffs is you've worked really hard. I wanted to see something to get to the top of something, to get to, to be the best, you need to succeed. And now you're trying to maintain it. And here, if you notice in this woods, there's a lot of saplings, a lot of younger trees, and there's one tree that's bigger and stronger. That's you. Maybe you are the emperor now, Capricorn. That could be the case. Let's see here. Hmm. Tell us more. So this to me is saying, if you're not sure if you're doing well, if you're going to make it, if you're going to get that promotion. And look at that, the Seven of Wands again. Defending your, defending your position. Now, the excuse that there's all, there, there's no man in this picture. There's no adult male. And if you notice, it's a mom with two children. And here, even here, there's a dog with two children. So I'm wondering if this isn't someone who is, um, well, I can think of as doggedly hard. Did you work doggedly hard to get somewhere? Look at that, the two of cups. That's a soulmate relationship. So you have gotten really, worked really hard to get someplace. And I feel like it's, it's it, I feel like this is talking about profession. Uh, two of cups, could it be a person? Yes. But um, maybe in this relationship, you guys have worked really hard. I'm gonna clarify a little bit here, Capricorn. But um, because of the way it's coming up, I kind of feel like maybe you've worked really hard, you know, uh, in whatever field you're in. It's uh, very traditional and it's not easy to succeed. But the Seven of Wands coming up twice says that you have, you really, it says, I told you, you know, they worked really hard to, you know, grow and evolve. And the Two of Cups says yes. And I'm clarifying because I'm kind of wondering if that Two of Cups is a person, a, a, a career, or if it's yourself. Temperance, could we deal with Sagittarius, sorry. <laughs> if you notice, she's feeding the flower and the bird. So temperance is about, oh, here's the card. Here's one of those cards. My friend Ellen, she's in the uh, no, uh, description box below. Temperance, this is the card that always throws me off. And she talks about tempered steel and how much pressure it takes to get there. So this card talks about, it takes a lot of effort to make something so strong. And that's what you went through, which seven of wands, seven of wands twice. I think it's once again, it's saying that again, you know, maybe, maybe you had to work against or in spite of an emperor could be an institution could be, you know, the, the, the workplace itself, but you worked really hard and got there and it's made you what you are. And there's the ace of swords. This is success. Are you, did you write something? Are you publishing? Cause the ace of swords can be, uh, something, uh, writing, publishing, something like that, something, uh, air quality. It's very pretty. If you notice it's dark on the one side and light on the other, here's the moon. It's like somewhere between the day and the night. 
So, and the Ace of Swords in this deck stands for logic, intellect, reason, truth, victory, decision, clarity, action plan, justice, knowledge, communication. Yeah, so I feel like you worked really hard and you're finally starting to get what you deserve. That's it, Capricorn. You're getting what you deserve. You worked really hard. Oh, boy. I don't know if I really want to take that. Uh, believe. Wild. Believe in your otherworldly beauty. Dance with the waves and drink in the sunshine. Well, I, I would definitely say that it's time for you to uh, enjoy a little because you have obviously worked very hard and you are successful. I, I'm, I've known a few Capricorns, and a lot of times Capricorns don't realize they are successful. At least the ones that I know. Prudence, don't be lured by the siren's song. Okay, so yes, you're successful, but don't let it go to your head. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's what that says to me. Okay, mystical Lenormand card for Capricorns for their What's Up Buttercup reading. Card for mystical from Mystical Lunarmans for Capricorn. Okay. This is the tower, but it's not a tower like you think of in the, in the traditional ta tarot. Oof. Where's my little thing here? See, in this book, this tends to be about isolation, about, you know, um, needing to get out more. If you notice... There's uh, pterodactyls flying here, you know. Those are dinosaurs. The implication to me is you've been so focused on what you've been doing for so long, you've become isolated, and you probably need to get out and enjoy yourself, which is probably why the wild really is here. Tower represents authorities. It can also indicate isolation and loneliness. Sometimes it's an indicator of a separation that is yet to come or a long life. Above all, it stands for a person in a leading position who has a lot of power or influence. Ooh, I think it's you. I think that you, I guess, fought the system, you worked within the system and just, you're a success. You're doing great. Is that what you needed to hear? I'm here to tell you. Capricorn, you're doing great. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and keep up the good work. Have a little fun though. Bye.